I've been reading Isaiah 54 over and over and over again, and for some reason, I've bypassed the very first instruction from the Lord. Isaiah 54, verse 1. Sing. Now that word sing is a Hebrew word, renah, which means a shout of rejoicing. The best explanation is a sound that comes from a breakthrough. Singing, joy, praise. This is a spiritual thing that we're moving sound, movement, and joy. And when that happens, something starts moving in and around us in an unseen realm. And things that were holding you back start breaking off of you. And things get start getting off of you. And you start moving into a new place. What happens if you're not careful, you can start complaining about just enough. And when you start complaining, the Bible says that when they complained, serpents came in and bit them. You know what happens when you complain? You open the door for the devil. Because where there is no gratitude, where there is no thanksgiving, that makes room for demonic forces because they love to fill us with bitterness and disappointment and all these negative energies that come our way. But I've got a sure course way to get you out of that. If you will quit looking at what you have and look at what God has and start praising Him and thanking Him and have an attitude of gratitude, He will break you out into a new season. Have you ever found yourself, your mouth, just starts getting more negative and negative and negative. And it's not, I'm not saying that's bad. It happens to me, it happens to all of us because the enemy just starts putting under us such places. We're in a pit, we're stuck in a place and we can't get out. And all we can see is those things that are surrounding us. But I've got good news for somebody. When you start praising God, even in the midst of where you're at, something supernatural begins to transpire. The angels get involved somehow. And the next thing you know, one day you're in the pit, next day God has established your steps, you're walking in a new path, God has put praise in your mouth and people say, my God, he has done great things for them people right there. Some have said to you, God can't get you out of where you're at. Some have said to you, you got yourself in it. You're going to have to get yourself out of it. But I'm here to tell you, God's arm is not short that it cannot save. And his ear heavy that he cannot hear. In this season, praise is about to move the hand of God in your life. And you're going to see a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Praise.